Fala galera, beleza? Estamos aqui de volta com mais um vídeo do nosso detonado 100% platina do game Red Dead Redemption 2. É, eu finalizei o vídeo anterior no acampamento, mas aí para agilizar eu já vim aqui para Rhodes, tá vendo? Onde eu estou aqui agora. Que aqui já temos duas missões aqui próximas. Então eu vou fazer primeiro essa missão, que é uma das missões opcionais de honra, temos que finalizar todas. Só vou até o cavalo aqui agora. O ato anda devagar aqui porque está próximo de missão principal. Bom galera, eu não devo conseguir fazer ouro de primeira aqui nessa missão próxima porque tem que cortar as animações, como eu não corto, mas eu vou mostrar para vocês a melhor forma de fazer. Essa primeira missão aqui na verdade não tem medalha, é só... Só a gente só vem aqui para ativar a próxima missão. Bom, vamos fazer pergunta aqui para esse carinha. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region and uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Bom, vamos falar aí com o Bill. E aí, assim que a gente for falar com ele, vai habilitar Outra missão, então eu vou falar aqui os requisitos para fazermos ouro na missão. Eu pausei aqui para não correr risco de começar a missão sem eu ter terminado aqui, que às vezes o jogo faz isso. Bom, para fazermos ouro nessa missão, nós temos que irmos até a Penélope sem sermos avistados e temos que concluir a missão em menos de 3 minutos. Então, como o tempo aqui é um pouco apertado, eu não devo conseguir porque eu não vou cortar as animações, mas aí fica a critério de vocês. Vamos falar aqui com, com ele. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, Looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff. Grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their 
guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Let's go, girl. Like you were saying before. So long. Pô, galera, evitem deixar acontecer um acidente igual aconteceu com o Bill. E. Vamos vir pra cá. Tentar não ficar indo muito pela estrada, que acaba demorando mais. E o cavalo não quer pular aqui. A gente tem que entrar na propriedade sem sermos avistados. Temos que concluir toda a missão em menos de 3 minutos. Nossa, hoje eu não tô... <risos> Bom, não sei como esse cavalo tá vindo comigo, pra falar a verdade, porque sofre, coitado. Bom, dei a volta aqui onde eu tô indo, galera. E aí ali na frente já está ela. E tentei não deixar eu bater com o cavalo igual eu fiz aqui, é duas vezes. Bom, e se vocês querem fazer ouro, vocês têm que pular as duas animações, aqui falamos com o Bel. E agora com ela. Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Bom, galera, agora temos que deixar a área sem sermos vistos. Isso aí também conta como tempo de missão. Mas basta irmos mais ou menos por onde nós viemos.
Bom, consegui medalha de prata, como eu já esperava. Que também não cheguei até a Penélope sem ser avistado, mas... Como eu não pulei as animações, eu tive dois acidentes aqui. Eu não consegui ouro, mas depois eu vou tentar pelo modo de repetição, estarei mostrando para vocês. Agora eu vou abrir o mapa aqui novamente. Bom galera, agora eu estarei fazendo aquela missão do Dutch e no caminho aqui eu estarei explicando para vocês o seguinte, deixa eu abrir aqui de novo o menu apertando o direcional para trás, tá vendo a Molly me solicitou um espelho de bolso, isso aconteceu quando eu estava fazendo aquelas atividades do acampamento em off, no caso cortar lenha, é, levar feno para os cavalos, essas atividades, eu vou colocar o vídeo aqui nessa parte para vocês verem ela me solicitando esse item mas como eu disse os itens mais fixos desse troféu são os da são os, são os da Seire e os do Jack Marston os dois fazem parte de missão principal os outros é é mais aleatório e aquele jogo com a Tyrion costuma vir bastante também igual eu fiz no vídeo passado jogar dominó com ela so Arthur, is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. Hey, look out, Javier. Então é isso galera, estarei indo até o Dutch aqui e chegando lá eu volto com o vídeo. Então só vou salvar o jogo aqui antes galera, eu recomendo vocês fazerem o mesmo, sempre que finaliza uma missão, que vocês salvem o jogo. Bom, e agora eu vou passar para vocês os requisitos de fazermos ouro nessa missão. Para fazermos ouro nela, nós temos que vencer a corrida de volta ao acampamento, nós temos que concluir a missão sem sofrer danos, nós temos que acertar 10 tiros na cabeça e nós temos que concluir com pelo menos 70% de precisão. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Gray. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Bom, galera, vamos aqui na carroça com o Artibald. Archibald, how are you? Pretty good. 
And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners, Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaite's. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up! You see that wagon? Bom, eu vou sair aqui da carroça, vou acompanhá-lo. A gente tem que fazer isso. Open. No, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Bom, agora vamos voltar para a carroça. Quando eu aperto desse lado, sempre o Arthur ele tenta subir no cavalo dele em vez da carroça. Bom, agora nós que vamos conduzir a carroça. Ok. Frederick Mitchell. Lamont State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep, not the nicest fellas in my experience. Go right at the crossroads. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my uncle Reginald used to say. They're right again here. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. 
He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are, selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Deixa eu tentar ir no meu cavalo pegar alguma alguma arma. Já deixar os olhos da morte descarregados também. What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Bom, galera, eu vou pela, pela esquerda. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Bom, galera, temos que nocauteá-lo aqui. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out. Preferencialmente sem sermos vistos. Got it. Deputy Williams. Não sigo mais ou menos por aqui onde eu estou indo. Se abaixem de novo. O Bill vai cuidar do outro que está ali no, no mapa. E apertem bolinha quando aparecer na, na tela. Que o, o Arthur já vai nocautear. Agora vamos amarrá-lo. E vamos carregá-lo até, até a próxima ali do restante da gangue. Então vamos para lá. Bom, galera, vamos colocar a dinamite aqui no... Nesse local, selecione aqui a dinamite. E joguem ali. Pô, já equipem a arma que vocês vão usar, que logo já vai aparecer inimigos por aqui. E aqui que tá a complicação, galera. Acertar os 10 tiros na cabeça e não tomar dano. Então fiquem mais afastados.
Bom, cuidado aqui, galera. No mapa não tá mostrando, mas tem mais um. Ali. return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Get this stuff out of here! Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes! Oh, galera, agora no caminho da de volta. I'm sure he can find a use. O Dutch vai nos propor uma corrida. Aí temos que vencê-lo. Ain't there always? Só tomar cuidado para não acertar, bater em uma árvore. As coisas que eu fiz no no início desse vídeo. Não é tão difícil vencê-lo. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Bom, já vou colocar aqui um algo para a energia do cavalo e vou aceitar a corrida. Ok, you're on. That's the spirit. Ok, on my word. Set, go. Bom, galera, vamos tentar vencê-lo aqui. Temos que vencê-lo para o outro. Basta seguir o caminho que está mostrando no mapa, não? Eu não recomendo vocês cortarem, porque esse local tem muita árvore.
conseguimos vencer. Bom galera, consegui fazer ouro, por incrível que pareça, estava achando que não conseguiria. Essa é a primeira vez que consigo fazer ouro nessa missão, sendo bem sincero para vocês. Mas enfim, bom que deu certo. Bom galera, aqui temos a missão A Rota do, Verade do Verdadeiro Amor, parte 3. Já estarei fazendo. Essa missão é bom fazer sempre que elas aparecerem, porque tem troféu perdível relacionado a essas missões. E aqui ainda está disponível a missão do Kieron, caso vocês queiram fazer. Como eu já fiz uma atividade com o um companheiro aqui nesse, nesse acampamento, não vou fazer aqui agora. Então é isso galera, estarei indo até, até o local ali da missão e aí chegando lá eu volto com o um vídeo. Bom, cheguei aqui no local da missão e para fazermos ouro nessa missão nós temos apenas um requisito, nós temos que concluir a missão em menos de 4 minutos e 15 segundos. Então caso vocês queiram já fazer ouro, vocês têm que pular as animações. Ele está ali do outro lado, deixa eu... You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This will get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Bom, oh, galera, vamos segui-lo por enquanto. Come on, come on. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Killed. 
I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! You what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water. Singing songs of freedom now, and now. glory. Be. Take us down Main Street, Every right through Lord town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Or maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. And free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Mm. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers. You hey, silly old goat. Yeah. 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 His philosophy hey. dependent hey. on biology. Sir. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Well, Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always will. Bo, why don't we just leave him? So oh. well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh. Come on. Sir, Shh. can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Bom, vamos até o nosso cavalo. Vamos seguir o Bow aqui por enquanto. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. 
My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean? We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure? You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Hmm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. Your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. Bom galera, ainda deu tempo de fazer ouro mesmo, não pulando as animações. Deixa eu só olhar no mapa aqui o que temos para fazer agora, mas eu acredito que as outras missões são um pouco grandes, então eu vou deixar para fazer no próximo vídeo. Isso mesmo, as missões que temos aqui agora são um pouco grandes, então eu estaria deixando para fazer no próximo vídeo. Então é isso, galera, se vocês gostaram do vídeo, por favor, deixe o like e se inscrevam no canal, que vocês estão me ajudando bastante. As minhas redes sociais estão aparecendo aí na tela, caso vocês queiram, vocês podem estar seguindo lá também. E peço que vocês considerem se tornar membros do canal a partir de R$3,00 por mês. Então no próximo vídeo a gente continua aqui com o Red Dead Redemption 2. Um grande abraço para todos vocês, valeu e até mais.